So, I'm just gonna admit it. I played Roblox. I know, I know. Let me, let me explain. A few people on my Discord server, by the way, you should totally join my Discord server. They sort of got me addicted to this horror game called Doors. Basically, the whole point is to reach the top floor of Sword Art Online! Woo! And there's a lot of trials along the way, like different enemies and bosses and small puzzles or finding keys or turning on the power and such. So, it is occasionally easier with certain things, like one with Rush, you know, the guy that goes like supersonic speeds down the hall, uh, kills people? Well, the more players there are, the slower he goes. So, yeah, this is my journey of playing my first ever horror game, or I guess my first ever game in general on Roblox. For those of you that don't know, hey, my name's Akira, and I talk about things that interest me. And lately, I've been having a lot of fun doing these videos, so I really hope you stick around. It really would mean a lot, so please subscribe and like the video. Alright, so I played this game, like, I think nine times? Massive thank you to my Discord. The people I was playing with made going through the game much more enjoyable, and they gave a lot of useful tips. Learning the game wasn't too hard. You will flash numbers on the screen. If it's glowing white, you flick it. If it's not glowing white, you do not flick it. I don't get it. All right, I'm gonna look really hard in this locker. Mm, I don't see much. I'll keep looking. <laughs> Most of the game is just walking forward with the occasional go find the key. There's a ton of cabinets, and these tend to have some goodies in them, like items and coins. The coins are used to buy items such as lighters, flashlights, and even a healing item in a lockpick. The game is pretty slow, but doesn't really take that long to beat if you know what you're doing. Whenever I played, it was usually around 10 minutes to get to floor 40, but I'm sure if you're not in a group and you're not stopping to look around like every 5 seconds, you can go way faster. Speedrun time. I think. Are we speedrunning this? Yeah, so I'll, 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 I'll sit in this chair while you guys do all the work. Honestly, most of my time spent was just looking for items and trying to find the key, so I'm sure you could do it way faster than I could. There's also a few enemies that are honestly genuinely scary if it's your first time playing. I'll be honest and say that these spooked me a few times. Run! Run! Go! 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 <laughs> I am afraid. <laughs> I didn't actually encounter every enemy. I apparently missed like two of them. It's interesting, but this game is very RNG based. You're not always going to get the same run every time. There's this one enemy called Halt, and Halt was the bane of my existence. I for some reason couldn't figure out its mechanic. Well, to be fair, I only encountered it like twice, so I didn't really have room to practice, but it still sucked to make it so far and then to get killed by it. That's something I both like and dislike. It's very time consuming to make it back to where you once were. You can honestly have a really good run where nothing happens, or you can have one that completely completely screws you over and you basically wasted like 10 minutes of your life. Though I think you wasted your life in general if you're playing Roblox. <laughs> I'm sorry. Granted, it's probably not that hard, but I had a hard time. Okay. Alright, next room. We got to floor 18, guys. This is farther than usual. Is this a boss fight or no? No, we're not gonna get that until like floor 30. <laughs> One enemy you will always pretty much encounter is Rush. Rush appears when you progress to the next room and the lights begin to flicker. You then need to hide in a closet cabinet thing and rush will rush <laughs> into the room and kill you if you aren't hiding this one really likes to pop up a lot and it's pretty easy not to die from I i'll admit that that rush killed me a few more times than i would like to admit <laughs> the thing is that you can't really hide in the closet for too long because that will also kill you and i would always hop in whenever i would see the lights flicker which uh, but apparently there's a difference between the flickers when it's rush or when it's just the place being creepy he just knows how to tease you i swear there's a sort of like variant to rush called ambush ambush's whole thing is similar to rush but from what i understand is that you need to quickly go back into hiding because ambush will pretty much rush back <laughs> get a rush back this will happen a few times but it'll be pretty obvious when it's over i think another sort of common enemy is screech indoors there will be quite a bit of dark rooms and this is where you this is where having a light or a flashlight is very necessary you cannot see anything without them there were multiple times where I ran out of flashlight and I was just stuck in a dark room just panicking. But anyway, so Screech will pretty much appear at random locations and all you gotta do is look at it and it goes away. Pretty easy, right? No, because the problem is that you never really know if it's actually there. So every time you're in a dark room, you pretty much have to spin around and make sure you don't get jump scared by these little okay, freaks. These gave me a very minor issues, but thankfully I kind of got some- I kind of got the hang of it. We done it and we escaped. Oh my god. Like oh my god. Happened. I finally saw this creature. I finally saw it. Oh my god. It- <laughs> It didn't like bug out again. It just didn't appear for me. No, I officially saw it. I'm so proud of myself. They gave me a few issues, but thankfully I got some tissues and it no longer was an issue because I had my tissue. Th the last sort of like common enemy are these eye things. When you enter the next room, you can see this light and that's the eyes. It's actually pretty easy. The trick is not to look at it and you'll be fine. I did get screwed over once because it was sort of like a narrow hallway and the eyes were like right in the center of the room. So I was forced to look at it so I can get past. And that's pretty much it. If I missed anything, feel free to tell me in the comments below. 
Speaking of the comments below, I have a super secret mission for you all. If you like this video and tell me that you are or not a door, then you will possibly get a cookie or something. Uh, I don't know yet. <laughs> it's a super secret mission, so you have to do it to win the prize. Alright, like this video and comment down below. T Tallying results! I'm watching you. You better do it. <laughs> Alright, back to the video. One of the bosses in this game is this T-posing guy called Seek. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. There's a specific floor that he will spawn on, and it's sort of like an event, which I think is pretty cool. You're being chased by Seek, and you have to run the right way, or get hit by Seek, or just run into a dead end. This part never really scared me per se, but it did really make me surprised that you can do this sort of thing in Roblox. It's honestly pretty cool. Another sort of like boss event is this thing. You apparently need to crouch the entire time because if you don't, this thing will just sprint towards you. So you pretty much avoid it and not get too close while looking for these books. These books will have these shaped things, honestly never heard of them. It's a pretty easy code, but for some reason I had a bit of trouble with it because I don't know why I have trouble with everything, I don't, don't ask why. And for some reason, in the, with the people I was playing with, it was always tradition to never get the last number of the code and always guess it. But yeah, that's basically the game. This was honestly a huge headache at times, and my journey to try and win at it hasn't been pretty. It was honestly pretty sad. I would stay up late just playing this game with the group, and always failing at around 452. I never got any higher than that. They would even restart whenever I would die at the game so that I can get a do-over and hopefully win the next time. It's honestly really wholesome, and they had a little too much faith in me. <laughs> but then, the impossible happened. Everyone died before I did for once, which is insane. I wanted to restart because I didn't think I could do it without them. But they told me to keep going. And then, well, this happened. I, I don't want to, I just, ah, ah. What happened? I just, I don't, I don't want to do this. Okay, 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 okay. You got I, nervous? Three, 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 two, one. What do I do? Wait, what do I do? What do I do? Uh -huh. Run up, run up, run up. Shush, 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 shush. Sh run up the stairs. Run, run, go, go, go. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Keep going, just keep going, keep going, keep right, right. What did I miss? What did Pick I up miss? The key. Pick up the key. What did I miss? Go down the stair. Go down the stairs. You see that high voltage room? No. <laughs> no. I am afraid. You have to go fast though, even while you're crouching. Go where? Fast. Where? Where? Where do I go? Where do I go? Right. There, there. You see the door? Open the door. <laughs> go in. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What am I looking at? All of them? Go. Go out of it and stay crouched. Okay, you will flash numbers on the screen. If it's glowing white, you flick it. If it's not glowing white, you do not flick it. I don't get it. Uh, okay. okay. Seven, two, nine, eight, three. Remove four, remove four, and remove five. Okay, progress. Okay, next Wait, one. I have to do this again? Oh my god, I hate this. Seven, nine, one, six, five. Six, five. Wait, three. Those were off. Six, five. Six and five were off. Oh. oh what do I do now? Oh my God, last. I don't okay, know. Okay, sprint, okay. sprint up the stairs. Sprint Grab as fast stairs. as you can. Sprint as fast as you can up the okay, stairs. They okay. Will be okay. Okay. Ah, 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 ah. Did I do it? Did I do it? That's it. I did it. One hit. One, one try. I am proud of you, son! I, I did it?! Oh my god, wait, I actually did it?! You did it, Akira! I want to thank my dad, Laz! I want to thank my, my, my friends and girlfriend, mom, Jen, and everyone! I, I, I couldn't have done it without me! I did it all by myself! <laughs> Alright, let's play another game now. <laughs> I'm done with this. Hey, I just want to thank everyone for all the support. We're almost at 9k subscribers, like that. that is insane! I, I, don't, I, I honestly feel so grateful, so thank you all so much for watching, and yeah, I really do hope you stick around. I work really hard on these videos, and I really do enjoy them, so I really hope you enjoy them as well. It's really late, I just finished editing this video, and I need to record an outro, and I totally forgot about that. Um, what else? Um, big thank you for everyone who keeps sending me art, I really do appreciate it. This new ending screen thing that I have is honestly, like, it's great. I, I love the little art that someone made of me, like, it's, it's amazing. I really do hope I can start doing more stuff like this in the future, because this was honestly a lot of fun. I, I have a few things lined up that are very similar to this, so I really do hope you enjoy it, and once again, let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying it. I always read all my comments, and I always make sure to reply and like get back to everyone. You all are like the meat and potatoes of this, so like, pat yourselves on the back. You all are really important, I really appreciate you all. I don't really have too much to say, but yeah, uh, let me know what you thought in the comments below, and make sure you give me more ideas of what I should talk about and do. <laughs> Alright, well I hope to see you next time, bye!